Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon, and today I've got a very nice 1969 Corvette Stingray to show you. Uh, this one finished in this nice black base coat, clear coat paint, really nice shine to it. You can see very deep, very nice clean paint. Looks very nice, cowl induction hood. Uh, these are stainless steel side pipes. They're not chrome, they're actually stainless. And of course, you know, these have the headers attached. It's all one piece, basically. Really cool looking. You see these on Corvettes sometimes. All the weather stripping, of course, and the uh, you know, the whiskers and so forth are in excellent shape, if not new. I mean, look at, you know, you can kind of see see these staples here. That would be factory correct. Sometimes you see screws in there, and that's wrong. So, you know, these are just excellent shape. Take in the interior. Uh, the carpeting, the seating, the console, the dash, everything is just as nice as it can be. No rips, no tears anything that's an air raid whistle so stand by hopefully we won't be getting bombed here in the next five minutes uh, this right in here and up in here these are your uh, fiber optics and they tell you if you have a tail light out or a signal out or something and they all work properly uh, all the gauges work the radio works the wipers work the heater works Everything functions properly on the car. Of course, these were T-top cars, and the T-tops fit nice and tight. No leaking. Door gaps are nice, which sometimes you don't always see on a Corvette because of the body twist and so forth. But these are actually nice. Now, I want to point out the wipers on a 69. Uh, this plate right here raises up and then the wipers start to move and a lot of times this not only is this plate missing But of course it doesn't work, but on this car it actually is present and it does work. So that's kind of cool nice to have uh, Wheels are 15 inch Corvette rallies front and back with BF Goodrich radial TAs all around They look great on the car Bumpers are nice, the chrome is nice, uh, even the reverse lights work, and the uh, bulbs are LED, so that's been switched out. It's a nice little upgrade. Not sure if you can see under there or not, but I want to tell you a little bit about the suspension. If uh, you go to the website, uh, westcoastcollectorcars.com, I've got pictures of that. Uh, of course, the undercarriage. I want you to see how nice and clean and dry it is under there. Very nice car, no rust. But additionally, the suspension on this car has a serious upgrade. Very high components, very quality. It's a company called Sharkbite, and they make high quality suspension components for Corvettes. So, uh, probably a little more explanatory if you look at the pictures and you'll see what I'm talking about. Very high end, very nice. Even the uh, clock works on the car. Again, all gauges work. You'll notice uh, the tachometer there in the dash. Uh, you know, it red lines at 6,500. That's indicative of a high horsepower engine. And this car started life as a 435 horse, 427. So uh, you can sometimes, you know, just look at the tack and you can kind of tell, you know, about what engine it had on Corvettes. And so, yeah, very impressive. Again, everything works on the car. Very nice car. Let me pop the hood while we're here. Now this engine 
is a 454 big block that's been bored 60 over. Makes it a 496, but very nice, brand new, all clean, balanced. Uh, as you can see, we've got electronic distributor there. Uh, of course, you know, Corvettes had power four-wheel disc brakes, but nice big block chrome valve covers and air cleaner. Polished aluminum manifold. Nice Holly carburetor under there. You might be able to see some of the suspension components there. See what I mean? That cast aluminum, very nice. Take a look at the radiator. That's uh, very heavy duty, and you got two fans housed in those nice little integrated uh, aluminum casings, and they are thermostatically controlled, so they'll come on when you need it. And got a nice polished alternator there. All the rubber components are nice. Maybe you can kind of see a little bit of the A-arm there. See that? Yeah. Beautiful. Up under the hood is nice. Headlights, of course, they work nicely, operate properly. Uh, bumpers are nice, bumper chrome up here is nice, and all your pieces in through here. It's a very well taken care of Corvette and really very nicely restored. So what I'd like to do now is uh, I'll hop in the car and start it, get to hear it run, and I'll just drive it around the parking lot a little bit here. You're not gonna be able to you know, I'm not going to be able to show you <laughs> any performance of it, but you'll, you will hear it, and it does sound, uh, you know, it sounds great. So uh, I'll do that, and I'll come right back. As you can hear, a very nice sounding cam too. Uh, let's see, also I uh, should mention, we've got power windows, they work great. Everything's nice in the car, you know, it's very clean. Um, horn works, you got tilt column in here. It's just a very nice Corvette, you sit nice and low what you do in these cars anyway, but uh, uh, very nice. Um, yeah. Weather stripping again, nice and tight. The back window on these, uh, you can pop that out if you want to. Uh, just a great car, but uh, if I can answer any further questions for you about this 69 Stingray, don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, my name is Rich Dean and this is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503-851-6763 and thank you for watching today.